morning Egypt, good morning. It's a new day today. I slept like a baby in this hotel. It was super nice. The room is totally black at night and I wake up at 12 in the morning. So I'm ready for a full new day of visiting here of city of Alexandria with the seaside behind you see the sea. And what I'm gonna do today is first I want to shave this little beard because for many days I was like tired and sick so I didn't shave so I want to go to the barber. I'll bring you with me. We go to the barbers and after we walk in the city we'll try to eat some good Egyptian food and then after I'm gonna take the night train to go from Alexandria to Luxor. It's 12 hours. Actually it's not too expensive. I think it's 300 uh, Egyptian pounds. So new day today here in Egypt. Let's go. Goodbye hotel room. Goodbye. That was the hotel where I slept. Here you see this beautiful chair. Here is a Quran. It's a book you read to pray and here is where people pray during uh, the five times of the day. That's one of these kind of very nice hotel here you find in Alexandria. Look so much atmosphere and so much history and if you look at the building here look at that this building is not really like renovated but the building is so so nice oh my god and there at the end you see the beautiful mediterranean sea not too late not too much on time middle 15. I, want, I want you to stay with us i know i love this hotel i i explained to video it's good hotel <laughs> nice view have a sandwich to see no I'm, i i will uh, go in the city but so much. Thank you so much. To follow the receptionist of the hotel to the barber. Yes. To cut my hair. <laughs> Yesterday I drink coffee at Brasilia. Okay, a lot of Egyptian people told me that Brazilian coffee is a very nice place if you want to drink nice coffee here. Brazilian coffee. You can see the price are pretty reasonable. I'm gonna have a latte here, middle, 25 Egyptian pound. You can have also like some sweet here. So in Egypt you find a lot of like croissant here and Turkish cheese pastry, Turkish cheese croissant and normal croissant. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Here you have the machine they use to put the coffee inside and then after it's going and burning and you get this burned coffee with like Turkish coffee and then after you grind it. This Turkish coffee. If you want you can uh, drink your coffee, Turkish coffee inside and this is biscuit like cookies and there is chocolate inside and you have small size and big size. And it's like a cup, so you drink like this, and after... Look at this beautiful cappuccino, I finally take a cappuccino. Nice coffee here at Brazilian Coffee. And now, here is the main street in the center of Alexandria. We're gonna go this direction to have a very nice fresh orange juice. I want also to point you here, you see a lot of Lada car from Russia. You have a lot of taxis, a small taxi, typical. They are like made with Lada. So it's all like 50 years ago cars from uh, Russia. Lada, Lada, Lada. So orange juice shop, you find them everywhere, everywhere. Salam alaikum, can I have an uh, orange juice? Yeah. How much is orange juice? The small one is for 10 and the big one is for 15. I think I took small, small. Nice orange juice. It's uh, orange from Egypt, huh? A lot of orange and a lot of tax. Uh, yes, yeah. tax and orange. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just finished my nice orange juice from Egypt. And now it's going to the hairdresser. So they gave me a recommendation to go. It's two minutes away. Let's give it a go. Look at this street. It's going to the train station where I'm going after. Full of little shop. Nice. And here in Egypt you can buy the bread. This is Egyptian bread. You have two kinds. Yeah. One is like muff, like stuffed and the other one is kind of flat. And that's Egyptian bread. Salam alaikum! <laughs> also in the old city of Alexandria, just have a look at those buildings. They're amazing. That's so beautiful. And they're all like very ancient building with these columns here and all this street has a lot 
of those buildings, very, very interesting. So in Egypt, you find a lot of like cafe. Cafe, it's a very, very traditional thing here in Egypt. And this one here, the bistro, is kind of like the typical kind of cafe you can find. Let's try to enter and see inside of it. So in Egypt, to cross the road, it's difficult. You need to be fast and not get hit by the ladder. Look at those columns, so beautiful. Okay, I need shape. You know where I can shape? Shape? Yes, it's From this city. Yes. And this one? Yes. And the one about the city. After Chencho uh, Kwak, 100. Okay. Met? Okay. Okay. Shukran. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye bye. I'm still looking for someone who can shave my beard. But I love Alexandria, it's so beautiful city. It's nice. Look at this building, another one. Look at that. Isn't it amazing? I don't know. It's gonna be the question of the day what this building is. Tell me. A barber, and I want a smaller one, not a big dresser, just a local one, something very local. And I'll find it. Ah, it's good, good. <laughs> Finally, the barber. Salam alaikum. Can I have a? Yes. Only yes. here. Here. Yes. No yes. touch. Yes. Here. No touch. No touch. Here. Here we're gonna shave the beer on this seat. What's your name? Hamdi. Hamdi. Baba Hamdi. Baba. Hamdi. 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 Baba Hamdi. So let's see. Oh, he's cutting my beard. White. It's a little white. Look. But I like the style. I don't know why I'm shaving. I think it's not too bad. It's very important if you shave your beard, you need a new one. You speak English, no? Everything. Khalas. Khalas. <laughs> yes. Oh. I don't know. Egypt style. Egypt style. <laughs> Perfect. After two weeks of not shaving, if I shave myself, I will burn, I will cut, it's gonna be horrible. But here, it's perfect. Desinfectant? Cold, cold. Cold, okay. I'm trying to make maybe a face mask. Time for the mask. It's pink. I love it. Another mask. Not sure. Two masks. Combo. Yes, scrub. Okay, final step. It's wet towel. Nice tea here. That's Egyptian hospitality. What's your name? Hamdi. Hamdi. Hamdi from Aswan. Aswan. Me, I go Aswan after tonight. Tonight? Aswan. Luxor, Aswan, Abu Simbel, tourist, tourist, tourist. So this is 200 pounds and the total price is 70. 70? Okay. Okay. Let's give a tips. Let's take 100 back. Shukran. Very thanks. Shukran. Thank you so much, Amdi. Johnny, eh? yes. Look at me, I look so new. It's like baby. It's baby, baby, baby. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Come here in Egypt, I'll put the link. But what's the name of this? Melaman Said. Melaman Said. 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 Ah, your son, Said. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Menam and Said. Okay. And look at this street full of life, full of people doing some business. Look, you can buy jeans here. You put all the pants here. And then you choose what you want and you buy it. Okay, now next, Gad restaurant here on the recommendation of some of my friends here in Egypt, Hamani. Name of the restaurant is Gad and it's a chain you find a lot here in Egypt. And we're gonna try it right now to eat delicious Egyptian food. Let's go. That is good. Yes. You have English menu, no? Okay, I want shawarma. Where, where is shawarma? This is? Chicken or beef? This is what? Chicken or beef? So this chicken, this beef, this is shawarma. Shawarma. This is sauce? Sauce? This is garlic sauce and this is tahini. Wow, look. 
another example of this kind of like very nice restaurant. Inside it's so beautiful, it's so big. Yeah, look at this seat here, only in Egypt. You can sit and ding, 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 it's moving. So here I will eat shawarma, but you have a, some example of the price and it's very not expensive. Remember the pigeon, we had the pigeon a few days before in the streets of Cairo with Amani. And that's all the Egyptian food you can have. This is a kefta also, we had that before. And today we're gonna, we're gonna eat the famous shawarma here with Syrian bread. Mmm, very good. There's pickle inside. I think this is lamb, but I'm not sure. And there is tomato salad, everything. And so the bread is very thin. And they serve that with a little of pickles and also fries. So far since the beginning of my trip in Egypt, I had a lot of food and I really love that. Shawarma is super, super good. So try this with on Gad, if you're coming, it's good value. You will um, eat cheap but good food. So because the food is so good in Egypt, I'm also eating falafel. So falafel, I already showed you many times, but that's super good. And those falafel have sesame seed on it. And this is here, tahin. So what you do is, make one of your falafel with your fingers. And you dip inside of the tahin and you enjoy your life traveling the world with extremely good food. Mm. Mm. Amazing. What else? Good food. Thanks Egypt for the food, I love it. Just finished, amazing food, not expensive at all. Let's see the price. Total is 85, so it's very, very cheap. The name of the restaurant is Granddad. Here is a restaurant, Gad, if you come. They have very nice food and it's kind of like not expensive, so I really recommend you. Now it's walking directly to the train station to see if I will have a train ticket for tonight. Let's see.